with you on Letters and Numbers. And tonight, once again, our contestants will battle the clock and each other with games challenging their literary and mathematical skills. And we very much hope that you will enjoy the challenge as well. We'll meet in just a moment, but first, to our favourite calculator. Welcome, Lily. Hi, Richard. So, feeling right on top of it tonight. Yes, absolutely. I can't wait to get stuck into those numbers today. Well, welcome. We look forward to that. And a man who always comes with impeccable references, David Astle. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Impeccable. I've always liked that word. Are you... What makes you impeccable? <laughs> well, I think it's maybe misplaced. It literally means without sin. And I can't... Well, why is that misplaced? Look, if you're accusing me of being squeaky clean, I don't think so. I'll just take... Impeccable or sometimes impeccable. All right, well, welcome anyway. Thank you. And, and, of course, the people that we are all really here for, our contestants. Firstly, please welcome back our carryover champion, copywriter and proofreader Aaron Tyrrell, who's back for his third night on Letters and Numbers. Welcome. Not only are you a tremendous performer on this show, but you're also one of the luckiest men alive when it comes to travelling. And... Uh, yeah, my girlfriend and I recently travelled over to South America and we went and saw Machu Picchu and on the, on the trail there, a woman actually fell off the edge um, but we managed to lift her back up. She was OK. It was only about a 12-foot drop. Mm -hmm. um, and then the floods came and pretty much wiped the whole town away and then uh, we were in Chile and then we flew out of there and a week later the earthquake struck and we got home unscathed. So you just dodged all of that? Just dodged it all. <laughs> Not only are you a competitor, you're a survivor. <laughs> well, welcome. Way. And ready to challenge Aaron is Lara Kassar, who is a social researcher, but who has also been a massage therapist, a film producer, a volunteer lifesaver, but her favourite job apparently was being a tour guide on the Sydney Harbour Bridge. What was it about being up on the bridge that was so enjoyable? It was just amazing. We met lots of different people um, as, as tour guides on the bridge and the view is always spectacular and different every single day. It's one of the best offices in town. Absolutely. <laughs> Please do welcome both our gladiators of the grey matter, champion Aaron Tyrrell and challenger Lara Kassar. <laughs> and to get us going tonight, as usual, the letters game. Contestants have 30 seconds to make the longest word that they can. And Aaron, can you select... Absolutely, Richard. Hi again, Lily. Can I please have a consonant to start off? You can. Thank you, Aaron. Starting with an N. A consonant, please. L. Another consonant, please. S. Now I have a vowel, thanks. U. Another vowel, please. O. A consonant, please. H. A vowel, please. E. A consonant, please. Another N. And one more vowel, please. And to finish, O. Thank you, Lily. Time starts now. How many for that first word? I'm looking at five for that one, Richard. Five, Lara? Five or so. OK, what's your five, Lara? Mine's house. And yours, Aaron? Sean. What do you think, David? I'm thinking of a lighthouse for some reason. I don't know why that is. Um, <laughs> yes, no troubles. Uh, both good for fives. Um, I saw loosen at first and thought, well, why not unloosen, which is a, a an eight you can find there. Unloosen, U-N-L-O-O-S-E-N. -O -O Very nice indeed. But to start with, two fives. Straight on to our second letter game. And, Lara, what do you feel like? Oh, I'd like a consonant to begin with, please, Lily. 
Thanks, Lara. Starting with an F and a vowel, please. A and a consonant. Z and a vowel. E and a consonant, please, Lily. T, uh, one more vowel. I, uh, another consonant, please. R and another, please. P and look the R. Thirty. Now. Your five, Aaron? Prize. And your six? Pirate. Pirate. Oh, the art is <laughs> parents on the shoulder, all that sort of thing. What did you make of it, David? Um, both uh, terrific words. Pirate, uh, good for six. And uh, I suddenly was thinking of dentures with uh, aperitif. Uh, <laughs> A-P-E-R-I-T-I-F. Obviously, it's the uh, little uh, pre-dinner drink uh, coming from the French to open. So aperitif for an eight. That is a lovely one. I like the aperitif. Six to Lara. Our first numbers game now where contestants try to get as close to the target number as they can. They start by selecting six numbers and they can only use each number once in their calculations. So, Aaron, can you make the number choice for us, please? Absolutely. Can I please have two large numbers and four small numbers? Two large and four small. I think I could have guessed that, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you. And smalls are seven, three... Another seven and two, and the two large, 150, and the target number is 141. 30 seconds to get to the target. went down pretty early, didn't they? Aaron, how did you go? Pretty straightforward, that one, 141, Richard. Absolutely. Same for you, Lara? Yes. OK. Aaron, take us through your method. OK. Well, first of all, I added 50 to 100 for 50. 150. 50 to the 100 gives you 150. And then uh, 7 plus 2 in brackets. 7 plus the 2. And I subtract the 9 from 150 to get 141. And you subtract that to get 141. Very straightforward. Uh, that was your method as well, Lara? It was... Pretty close. Do you yes. want to just compare notes just to uh, double check that you're you're both happy with that? And Lily, your approach would have been the same. Yeah, nice easy way to start off the numbers game. It was, and that meant ten points each for both Lara and Aaron, bringing our scores to Aaron on fifteen, Lara on twenty-one. And our first word mix for the evening is mid spray, and the clue: a building for mummies. Back shortly. <laughs> 